Hello, Derek Rougeau with Rougeau Knives. Um, I've had, I ended up going to a Renaissance fair and I had been to them before and I was looking at some of the costumes that people were making. I'm like, you know, I've always wanted to make a costume. Um, so I took on the project and I thought I'd go ahead and shoot a video of showing you the process. This will be a multi-part video and right now I'm in the, uh, excuse me, the design phase. So I started out with doing some sketches of the underlying robes for the outfit. So you have, um, you know, your upper body piece, um, two flaps hanging down, um, some lacing on the side, a sash, and then a hood. Um, yes, it does look a lot like Ezio or Altier from Assassin's Creed. So I based the robes loosely off of that character from uh, the Assassin's Creed games. Then we're getting into the more complex stuff, which is full leather armor. Um, I do leather work, you know, for my knife sheaths, and I thought, well, this would be a good learning experience to build my skills, um, working with leather, learning new techniques, things of that nature. Um, it's an ambitious project, but I decided to do it. Um, the chest piece, this one here, shows most of it assembled. So it, it originally I was going to do three sections, and then I uh, once I started breaking out my, uh, you know, doing my uh, cardboard templates and laying it out, I decided to do two section, uh, two two pieces. So an upper torso and then the the uh, waist and belly area. Um, then also I'm going to do custom carving on it. You can see here I got this X pattern moving through it, and then I took it a step further and then tied a knot through it. These are all just loose sketches, just to get an idea of how I'm going to build it. Um, and then it has the, the shoulder pads um, and then the, the side leg protectors. Um, arms and legs protection. And then uh, a bag for carrying cell phone, wallets, keys, and other accessories. So there will be a belt with other accessories and whatnot. Eventually, I'm going to build a sword and a knife for this costume and then make uh, the scabbards and then the, um, the holsters to, to mount them onto the belt. So the first phase of sketching it out and getting the direction I wanted is done. Here's a f composite of all the parts and pieces to get an idea of how it was going to come together um, and then uh, get, start experimenting with some color themes. I've already purchased the uh, fabrics so here we have the red for the satchel or the sash excuse me and then also a headband that will wrap around the neck um, I decided to go this route because this outfit is going to be really hot and you'll be able to take this headband and, and dunk it in water and wear it and that will help cool you off um, then we have the robes would be made out of this, it's kind of a denim, and it's black with a, a fine gold weave in it, and then on the back side it's, it's a little more kind of a mustard gold, and I thought that would be nice. That way, on the outside you have the black, and on the inside you would have this nice gold texture. And then um, I also found this, this lace that can trim the whole thing, black and gold. Um, I think this looks really good. And then this X pattern, I decided to try to integrate it into the carving of the leather throughout and give, um, give some knot tying. Uh, give it a kind of a Celtic feel, but not going true Celtic. I want this to be more of an original design. Um, it's kind of a, and you know what, I'm not really thinking of it as an Assassin's Creed outfit. It's more like a warrior wizard outfit or something like that. It's leaning more towards fantasy. Um, so the original design, the sketch, and the materials have been purchased. And then I went into actually laying out my templates. So most of the templates I started with were made out of just you know thin cardboard like this. Um, then I tested them out, made sure everything fit correctly uh, based on my build. So six foot one, about you know a little under 200 pounds. And uh, this is the bag for the back. 
it would you would wear it um, on the belt at your lower back. It's a small bag. I made it a little big, and it was so that I can carry water in it because this is gonna be hot. Like I said, you need to carry water, stay hydrated. So this is the template for the bag. And then I sketched out a, uh, a coin purse, which is this piece here. And I was just kind of figuring out how I was going to make it work. And then the exterior bag, I cut it out, designed it and cut out of vellum. And then the, the little retaining strap, that way it has a snap to it so that you can take it on and off without having to completely disassemble the belt from the outfit so you can remove it. So the next step was to design the knot pattern within the outfit. Um, how it's going to look and lay out. Once I had all my cardboard templates done, um, then I had to design the knots. And this is the knot pattern. Uh, for, this is for the arm piece, the armband. And at first I, um, I had drawn it out by hand. And I kept refining it, and then I said, ah, screw it. So I just went into Adobe Illustrator and laid it out, and it gave me more flexibility, and I was able to print it out and tweak and play with the size so it fit correctly within the master template. Um, so that's the arm piece. This is the leg piece. And then this is the chest piece. So this, would, this design would be transferred to the leather for the front and back of the chest piece. And I also used um, this piece, this section here for the shoulder guards. So I repurposed the design throughout the outfit. So once I had these done, then I jumped into, jumped into uh, the arm piece right here. So this is the final template made out of a, a vellum, kind of a plastic vellum. And um, it allowed it allowed me to transfer this easily to the leather. And then the leg piece, pretty big piece. The uh, shoulder guard, and then the secondary piece that goes under the shoulder guard. There, so that's that's a pretty simple design. And then the the thigh piece. So which is this part here, there will be two of those on either side of the leg. Uh, the belt is going to be two inches wide, so just a quick template because the way it mounts to the buckle. And then there's, a, there's the buckle I'll be using, and then also these buckles here, um, they'll be using that. So I'm kind of going with a lot of the Celtic hardware I got at Tandy Leather, and I think that will help give it some nice accents. And then we have all the different size straps. So we have our large, medium, small, and then this strap here is the strap that will go, that will mount this on the front and back, the shoulder pads. These are going to be a little tricky to cut out out of the leather because of these little curves, but it's a lot of straps I'm going to have to cut out, but it will look good in the end. Then we have the full chest plate, the front, right here. And then you have two straps here. And then this. Uh, the back piece looks very similar to the front piece, just the neck's a little different. And then this is piece that goes around the stomach and it will mount something like that. So that's that's my uh, my blueprints are all done, my templates. I have a sketch of what the final product's going to look like. Um, so far I would estimate that it's taken me anywhere from uh, God, 12 to 16 hours just to get to this phase. 
So it was a lot of work. Um, this is a project that's going to wind up taking probably about, oh, I'm thinking six months to do. So I'll be releasing these short little videos as I progress. And I won't be getting into a lot of detail, just kind of give you a quick overview, overview kind of like what I do with my other videos. So I hope, uh, hope this interested you. Um, you know, give me, drop some comments, let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for watching.